You're taking a look at Ton High School, the site of the MIAA Division I South Sectional Finals, where tonight the seeded number two Brockton Boxers take on the number one seed Mansfield Hornets in the South Sectional title game. My name is Peter Zimbor, joined alongside my broadcast partner, Miles Jackson, and I think that our dear friend and colleague Nubi Rateau would call you Miles Big Game Jackson, and I think this has the feel of a big game. Oh, it is a big game. As you said, this is the South Sectional final. Number one seed going up against the number two seed the way it should be. And I have to give Brock a lot of credit. They've really gone through this tournament um, with their minds right, their hearts right, playing these tough teams, BC, Taunton, and just doing a great job overcoming everything that's been brought up against them. And now they'll be rewarded here with the South Sectional Final. Brockton will be wearing the black jerseys. Mansfield wearing the white uniforms for this game. Starting five for each respective team, Miles? Yeah, starting five for um, Brockton is um, Biddle, Nichols, Blakely, Reed, and Robinson. And for Mansfield Hornets, it's Bowen, Guy, uh, Rooney, Hill, and Stevens. And I'm looking at the um, Hornets uh, lineup, and they've got a freshman in there. Number 31. That bodes well for them for the next four years. Good atmosphere at Taunton High School. Lots of fans for both teams, respectively. Three-point attempt by Mansfield. No good. Hornets with the rebound. One bounce tries to go back up with it. He's fouled. No, he's going to get called for the travel. Great defense there, I believe, by uh, Nichols wrapping him up. Hands on the ball. No foul. Good, good call on um, the referee, so travel. Year in, year out, the chance to not change at high school tournament basketball games. That's an inside the perimeter jumper, courtesy of number 13 for Brock and Todd Robinson. So the box is up two zip to begin this MIAA South sectional final. And I think, did we have our first foul of the game called? I believe so, yes. 33 on Navon. Navon Reed. It's nice to see uh, Todd Robinson hit that first shot. He's been a great senior and a leadership for this uh, boxer team. Mansfield will inbound from underneath. Three-point attempt, no good. Brockton with the rebound. Brockton jumped off to the early two-zip lead in the perimeter outside. And number 35 for Brockton down low. That being Nichols. Yeah, and that was a nice um, drive and feed in by Diamond Blakely. Drove right to the basket, dished it off nicely. So 4 nothing, Brockton on top early in the first half of this MIAA South Sectional Finals game against the Mansfield Hornets. Mansfield with their first bucket of the game. This one from outside the perimeter, cutting the Brockton lead to just one. Yeah, it looks like Brockton's playing a man-to-man -man on defense against the Hornets. Man-to-man -man and ganging up on the man with the ball here and there, leaving someone open at all times. And Brockton extends upon their lead down low. Yeah, nice job there. Down low by um, Navon Reed with the power move. 6-3, Brockton on top. Gee, Mansfield guard saw an opening and took advantage for the easy two. As you're taking a look at Taunton High School, a neutral side game for this MIAA South sectional final, you can see why their facility is the site of many of these neutral side games. Brockton up 8-5 now. Yeah, nice uh, offensive rebound by Nichols to get the easy two. Ooh, nice steal. It's gonna let that one trickle out of bounds. It gets away from it, it'll be Mansfield ball. Yeah, nice defense there by Terrence Guy, the junior. He knocked it away from uh, Robinson and it hit off the knee of Robinson's and went out of bounds.
you just feel the excitement here in this uh, gym here at Taunton High. Yeah, you can tell why this gymnasium gets a lot of neutral side games. It's big, it's spacious, plenty of parking, can't underestimate that. And it's good for a lively environment for high school tournament basketball. Though I will say, one of my favorite sports days of the year in high school sports, which is no longer with us, is the Saturday of MIAA self-sectional basketball that was played at the UMass Boston morning until night because that place would get rocking for 12 straight hours with fans in and out of the facility all day. Number 22 down low for the Mansfield Hornets. Yeah, that was a nice job by Rooney. It was temporarily touched by the boxes and he somehow controlled it and nicely put it up for an easy two. So Mansfield within one, eight seven is your score right now. Brockton with the one point edge. Well, not a good pass there by uh, Navon. And speaking to the lively nature of this game, you can see the left side of your screen, standing room only fans for the South sectional final matchup. Yeah, it looks like at least three deep. More than that, I think. Yeah. At least three. Yeah. Four, four, five, six yeah. in some places. Yeah. Missed free throw. Nervous jitters of yeah. tournament time basketball. And this guy, uh, Terrence Guy, the junior, he's been a big factor in uh, Mansfield getting here to the South section final. Big time player. He's a junior. Regroups for the second bucket. We tied at eight miles? I believe we are. Yep. Three seconds or? Some sort of violation nevertheless. Yep. And we're going to have Mansfield inbounding the ball from the far side of the court. As far as neutral sides are concerned, Taunton, not a bad location we've mentioned, but uh, significantly closer in its neutral site to Mansfield than it is Taunton. It's into Brockton, rather. Oh. Biddle yeah. left them wide open, got beat on the play, and it's called for the foul. And Mansfield takes their first lead of the game with that bucket, 10-8, with an opportunity to make this a three-point game as he heads to the free throw line. Yeah, Mansfield doing a great job moving without the basketball, creating their own uh, chances to get open. Roxon's got to do a better job there covering. Three-point game, 11-8 is your score. Mansfield on top over the Brockton Boxers. First half of this MIAA Division I South Sectional Championship game. Yeah, we got Isaac Lane and Bento in the game for the boxes. Wow, they're going to call a foul, I believe, on 22. Isaac Lane, and that was kind of a ticky-tack foul. Ooh, it's an alley-oop layup of nice. sorts. For the big guy, Terrence guy. 13 to eight is your score. Mansfield extending upon their lead. Traveling called against Brock, and that'll turn the ball over to Mansfield. A few traveling calls early in this game. Yep, and Diamond kind of slipped on the court. They still call traveling in high school basketball. It's not the NBA. Oh, offensive foul. Tough pick there to call, I believe, on number three, Brandon Foley. And that turns the ball over to Brockton. Yeah, that was a moving pick. Good defense right there for Mansfield Hornets. Caused uh, Biddle to lose it out of bounds. 
Mansfield Hornets over the years are a very underrated basketball program. They always find themselves in the mix, but you don't see them discussed with the likes of Brockton and BC High as much as other teams are. Well, this year they've, they've earned the spot of number one seed. And another traveling call. That turns the ball over to Brockton. So mistakes on both ends. You okay. mentioned those nervous jitters of tournament time exactly. basketball. Exactly. You and I were chatting before the game started about this particular facility in terms of the depth perception of players shooting the ball a little bit different than when they are playing at home at Staff Gymnasium in Brock. And you and I have made note in broadcasts in the past of the depth perception being different when they're playing in arenas once they get even further in the tournament like the TD Garden and the DCU Center. But it, it is an interesting setup in the facility in terms of shooting the basketball from the depth perception perspective like you mentioned before the game. Yeah, definitely. Jump ball called down low. A great job by Bento to get in there and fight for that rebound. He went up high. Possession boxes. Brockton for three. Yes. That came in. Ball it wasn't pretty, wasn't but hey. Sure wasn't. Ball wasn't sure if he wanted to go in. That would look too easy. Again, Brockton's got to do a better job. We're all tied up at 13. Ooh, nice job by uh, Diamond Blakely to use his body and protect the basketball and made the defender foul him. So this is going to be number 11 Blakely at the free throw line. And Diamond Blakely, he's really worked on his free throws ever since that uh, game when... Uh, I believe it was against Cambridge and point two seconds left on the clock and it was a tie score. And Blakely went to the line and missed both free throws and it went into overtime. Brockton eventually won the game, but Bla I know you could tell by his face, he felt really bad he, that he couldn't win it in uh, regular in regulation. Well, Brockton and, does retake the lead with him at the line. Continue, I'm sorry. No, I'm just saying he's really done a good job since then at the free throw line. So I can tell he's really worked on his free throw shooting. Things getting aggressive down yeah. low. And, and that was a good foul by um, Xavier. He's gonna make him uh, earn the shots, earn the points at the uh, free throw line. That's uh, Sincere Gill, a junior who's come in. Nice defensive job there, Brockton forcing the turnover. Coach Mike Von for Taunton telling his players on the sidelines, settle down, easy, don't need to be so excited. Nice takeaway by yeah. the Mansfield Hornets. I believe that was uh, Xavier again. He was moving. Good call, unfortunately, for the boxes. And looks like they've got um, Noah Olawu in there. Been playing great basketball in these playoffs. Coming off the bench. 2-1-1 situation. 
And they're going to call blocking. blocking. Beyond that, there was a defender for Mansfield that smacked that backboard in an attempt to not make that ball go in, which I think could have been a goaltending call yes. as well. And Isaac Lane, who's at the free throw line, did a nice job avoiding, the, avoiding making offensive contact when he went up for that layup. Isaac missed both free throws. He's a pretty good free throw shooter. getting a couple of baskets here to take the lead there in the lead. So I've got Mansfield up 21-13 right now. Nice yes. defensive play by Mansfield. And it was a clean block too. Yes, it was. Yep, good call. Yes. Oluwu got in there and... Uh, Tied up the basketball. Attentive and assertive officials so far in this game. Consistent so far, which I think and both coaches could appreciate. Yep, that's all we want is consistency by the uh, referees. You can tell the crowd's really into it, Peter. Brockton High School cheerleaders making the appearance. Vocal with more than just their routine cheers. They're into it. That would be Brockton's ball. Brockton having a bit of a scoring drought here in the first half. Well, you can see the crowd's gone about seven deep, eight deep there. Folks still trickling in. Yep, still coming in. In the silver city of Taunton, Massachusetts. Long bomb didn't quite work out. Buzzer beater. So 22 to 12 is the score in favor of the Hornets as we'll be entering the second period momentarily. Well, what has happened here in the first quarter, like you said, Brockton's gone on a cold spell and really haven't scored many points in these last few minutes. And where um, Mansfield has able to has been able to capitalize and make some baskets. So Brockton just has to warm back up on making the shots. Also on defense, they have to do a better job on the little um, backdoor plays that the Hornets are uh, running, and they're getting too many easy baskets. Little layups. So second period begins. 22-12, Mansfield on top. Again, nice job by the Brockton guys to avoid the contact and have the defense initiate the con contact. That was Todd Robinson.
Referee's having a conversation. We've talked about how it's seven deep on the other side of the court. At least three, four deep on this side of the court as well, Miles. Yes. I'd love to be the vendor that has concessions tonight. Yeah, a lot of curious fans coming out to this one. And rightly so. Brockton's cold at the line, too. Cold in general. Yeah. Three-point attempt by the Hornets uh, connects. And that was not a good foul by Navon out there in the three-point range. So with an opportunity for a four-point play. And Navon's going to have to come back out. And that'll hurt, hurt the boxes a little bit. Because uh, Navon's a key part of this Brockton offense and defense. I think that's two fouls on Navon. Early on here in the second quarter, too. So Brockton somehow able to end the scoring drought. Yep. We apologize to our viewers at home for the rowdy atmosphere of Taunton High School, but sometimes you're gonna get a head of hair in your way yep. during tournament time. I believe they're gonna call walking. Good defense, they collapsed on the ball carrier. And there was nowhere for him to go but take a walk. Pretty far out by Xavier. Hot hand for Mansfield. 28-14 is your score. Hornets on top. Bento. Nice offensive board there by Bento. He went and got it. Easy two. Nice move there by the Hornets. Number 22, Rooney, the senior. 14 point edge for Mansfield. Brockton trying to cut in that lead with a outside shot, no good. Another three pointer by Xavier, another miss. Second chance opportunity for the Hornets. Well, not quite, they're almost. Now they're gonna call offensive foul. Yeah, that was a hop, oh, no. skip, and a jump. No. They're gonna call a blocking, blocking foul. Blocking foul. Wow. He looked yeah. like he was playing hopscotch there. Yeah, that was could have called traveling by the big man, Terrence Guy, the junior, and I believe we got a timeout. So a timeout indeed we do have. 30 to 16 is your score. Mansfield Hornets on top. We are in the second quarter of this MIAA Division I South Sectional Final Matchup. Peter Zimmer and Miles Jackson calling the action. That rhymed and I didn't even intend it to. <laughs> well, I tell you, Brockton's going to have to start warming up. They can't ill afford to get too far behind on this tough number one seed, uh, Mansfield Hornets. And they're going to have to start hitting some shots. And playing a little bit better defense. Seem like the Hornets are making their outside shots as well as um, their shots in the paint.
The guy makes the three point play. 31 16, Mansfield on top. Ooh, bad pass. Wasn't quite sure what to do with it. Nice little stop and pop by Todd Robinson. I think they're going to call a foul on the floor or on Biddle. Nowhere near where the ball was either. No. See Biddle pleading his case. He don't quite understand. Sam Stevens, the senior, makes both free throw attempts. A little bit too hard off the glass. Oluwu. That was pretty from the outside. 18 yep. point edge for the Hornets now, 36 to 18. More than an edge. Yeah, Brockton's really digging themselves a, a hole. Trying to make up for it from the outside, but you and I have mentioned they've been cold shooting the outside shot throughout this game. Stevens. And they're all hitting him from outside. The Hornets. 21 point lead for Mansfield. They want to run away with this one. And they're yeah. going to call a travel against yeah. Mansfield. Good call. Now, Chris Hill, freshman, on the travel. Just can't just buy a basket. Can't buy a basket. Nice strong move by Navon. Just a little bit too strong. And um, another three pointer courtesy of the Mansfield Hornets. And the Hornets are feeling it. 42 to 18, the Mansfield wow. Hornets on top, I believe. Have a call down low. This should send Brock in the free throw line with an opportunity to maybe put some points on the board. Yeah, they need him badly. Mansfield on an 11 0 run right now.
and Vakeem Nichols makes both free throws. The refs don't like the call. Isaac Lane doing a great job trying to save that ball. Blakely can't make the three. Oh, it just wow. goes their way every time. Yeah. Even when it looks for a second, <laughs> it's not going to. 45-20 is your score. Mansfield on top over the Brockton Boxers. Division one, MIAA, South sectional final matchup. Winner of this game heads to the state semifinals. One game away from the state championship game. And Navon goes strong up and is fouled. Navon Reed, a pretty good free throw shooter, shooter throughout the season. Avon makes one out of two. Brockton still with a lot of catching up to do. Bit of a more of a press defensively. And Nichols got his hands on the ball. Brockton seems to think it should have been their ball. Nice block. Foul. Audience fans don't seem to think so, but it was a foul. Not letting Brockton get any momentum. Todd Robinson is a really good free throw shooter. I thought he kind of rushed that first free throw attempt. Makes his second. One minute left in this uh, second quarter, Peter. And there's not been a good second quarter for the Brockton Boxers by any stretch. The Mansfield Hornets really finding their rhythm, and that rhythm continues. Yes. Here we go. Isaac Lane with the three. It has been quite some time before that since Brockton hit a three in this game. Yeah, it's been a long time. I wonder if that was actually the first three of the game they actually hit. Oh, nice finger roll by Blakely. 
So the first half comes to a conclusion in a big second quarter for the Mansfield Hornets. Or as you can see right now, it is a 50 to 27 game for the Mansfield Hornets. So 50 to 27 is your score at halftime. We'll step aside for a quick breather. Back with more second half action after this. It doesn't matter how you say it, as long as you say it often. Praise your child at least four times for every time you correct them, and you'll be on your way to raising a confident, caring kid. 4 to 1 Praise is just one of the many parenting tools from the experts at Boys Town. Visit boystown.org praise to receive your 10 ways to praise magnet. It's a great reminder to keep it positive and that helpful parenting advice is just a click away. My part-time service in the Army National Guard makes it possible for me to be more for the community I call home. I'm a better neighbor because my service has taught me how important it is to be a team player. My training helps me in my classes when I must give attention to detail to the task at hand. My service in the Army National Guard allows me to keep my community and those I care about safe from threats. Learn more about how you too can live and serve part-time close to home by visiting nationalguard.com. Back for second half action here at Taunton High School. The Brockton Boxers trailing the Mansfield Hornets 50 to 27 in the MIAA South Sectional Finals. Peter Zimborn, Miles Jackson bringing you the action. And just a really down first half for the Brockton Boxers and everything seemed to go Mansfield's way. Yeah, yes indeed. Uh, Brockton couldn't buy a shot and they couldn't play defense on uh, Mansfield. They were hitting everything from the outside and getting the inside shots in the paint too. So Brock's gonna have to really turn around in this second half. Yeah, Mansfield had the hot hand from the outside in the first half. Brockton was as cold as cold could be. Tough break right there for Diamond Blakely. And got a whistle down low. 
Yeah, and that was a foul by Nichols. He's pleading his case, but um, to no avail. You saw the contact. And that's number 33, Samuel Stevens, the senior at the free throw line. This Mansfield team's pure shooters. Great fluid motion in their, sh in their shots. 52-27 Mansfield as they draw first blood here in the second half. Navon tried to go underneath and good defense by Mansfield. And a 4-0 run from Mansfield to begin the second half of play. Yeah, that's not a good way to start the second half of the boxes. Biddle is fouled. So he'll go to the free throw line and shoot two. And Biddle cannot make the first free throw attempt. Again, Brock boxes cold on the free throw line as well. Fifty-four twenty-eight Mansfield. Yeah, I believe they didn't call a travel or his uh, foot was on the line. Noticing that the Brockton fans have been taken out of the game to some degree here in the second half, not as lively as they were when this began. Not at all. They've, Mansfield has done a good job taking, again, the boxes fans out of the game. Three-pointer by Brockton. Yeah, and that was a nice offensive rebound by um, Navon Reed. He missed a shot, and he fought hard for the... That should be travel, but yes. Good call by the officials. Yep. You saw it from here. Boxers need to make some type of run on offense and then a good defensive stance. Taken away. There was a lively performance during halftime from the Boxers cheerleading squad, however, which the crowd was into. Yep. Best of, cheerleading squad in uh, southeastern Massachusetts. A lot of acrobatics going on there, not just a dancer oh, team. Yeah. And Biddle is fouled. Biddle doesn't like the call. I guess he felt that uh, he was in the shooting motion. He needs to just forget about it and um, can start concentrating on basketball. Nice pass, nice feed and missed. Nichols missed again. And he is fouled. Or nope, it's out of bounds. I guess he felt he should have been fouled, and uh, rightly so. Post up. And no call. Navon was looking for a call, nothing. And he's starting to let the officials know uh, how he's feeling about yes, these Yes, Bowen is calls. not happy. I don't blame him. And a good job by head coach Bowen of taking out number 35 for yep. Brockton at the moment. Nichols, who uh, may have been getting a little too verbal out there with his frustration. You don't yes. need emotions to lead to anything that is not intended to be said to be said and cause technicals or something of the like. Oh, Biddle missed a golden opportunity. Give Mansfield credit. It's 
good defense, but Biddle should have had those two. Nice takeaway by the boxers. Okay, Biddle redeems himself. Well, Brockton outscoring Mansfield in the second half so far. Oh, nice, nice move there by the big man underneath uh, Chris Hill. Freshman makes the two. So 56 to 33 Mansfield on top here in the third quarter. You're watching Taunton High School, the setting for the MIAA South Sectional Final matchup between the Brockton Boxers and the Mansfield Hornets. Brockton entering this game the number two seeded team in the South Section and Mansfield rated number one. As yep. you said, Miles, the way it should be. Yeah, and um, just that Brockton's been cold in that set, uh, first half. Here in the third quarter, um, got a little frustrated with some non-calls and some missed shots, but they've got to keep their composure. Just play good defense, and the offense will come, come around sooner or later, hopefully sooner than later, because this Mansfield team is hot. We've got some great shooters on that Hornets team, and they're taking full advantage of Brockton's mistakes. They've got to start getting in and getting in their face on those outside shots. Two for Biddle, nice touchdown pass to Biddle. Box is showing the urgency on defense. That was number 33, Sam Stevens. 59-35 Mansfield. And good hustle by Biddle as it was a foul call. Boxers will take it out. And you can see Xavier coming in. Let's see if he can, he can get hot. They're going to need his outside shooting. Also, Isaac Lane is in. Nice drive by Blake, uh, Diamond Blakely. Chance for a three-point play here, Peter. Brockton is cutting the lead a little bit here in the second half, but they still got plenty of ways to go. So Brockton down 59-37. Is that a foul from outside the perimeter? Yeah, Bento, that was not a good good um, defensive move right there. Not a smart move. Uh, that'll be three free throw attempts. And you can see why. Mansfield's number one seed. These guys can shoot the ba uh, basketball on the free throw line as well, outside and inside with their big men. They've got the whole package coming into this South Sectional Final. And Brockton's got a ta tall order to fill.
three for three at the line. 62-37 Mansfield. Nice dish. I believe they're going to call that foul on number 33, Sam Stevens. Wow, air ball. Brock is still cold from the outside. Yeah. Oh, look at the teamwork by Mansfield. Yeah. It doesn't add up to any points this time around, but I think they're going to draw a foul on oh, the yeah. free throw line. That was sort of ticky-tack, but it was a slight bit of contact there. Yeah, the fans don't like it either. Again, not much of a foul on Bento. Nice job by Isaac Lane fight for that rebound. Nice. Lane, smoothest jump shot in the southeast. 62-40, Brockton down by 22. Brockton collapsing on the, whoever has the ball, they will collapse on them with two men. Lane could have hit that. That would have really motivated the crowd and the boxes. Almost stolen. Lively crowd here in Taunton on their feet, as you can see. And Navon is fouled. Isaac Lane. The last two. Batch of points for Brockman have come courtesy of three pointers. Crowd always enjoys the rare moment where the ball gets stuck in the rim. Yeah. Sixty-four forty-three. Your score: Mansfield on top. Third quarter. MIAA South Sectional matchup: Brockton and Mansfield. Miles, you've been calling boxer games all season long. What is it tonight that you see in Brockton that's abnormal for them? Are they in a funk, or is Mansfield just playing that much better? A combination of the both. A combination of both, Peter. Um, Mansfield, give them credit. They're hitting the outside shots, playing good defense, but Brockton just aren't making the shots. 
and um, making some mistakes out there. And uh, like I said, combination of both, Peter. So Brockton heading the free throw line. Yeah, our, our fans are a little anxious and they won't sit down, so pardon the, the um, obstru obstruction in the camera. The obstruction of heads. Yes. And if Brockton can make a run, you, you will see a lot more of this on your TV. You can just gauge the reaction of the crowd if you couldn't see what was happening, folks. <laughs> and it's like Biddle's going to go to the free throw line. There's a foul called. This is where free throws are very critical since Brockton is in such a hole. They need to make those shots. And they make the shot. Connects to end the third quarter. So the third quarter comes to a conclusion here at Taunton High School. And Mansfield with a commanding lead over the Brockton Boxers in this MIAA Division I South Sectional matchup. I have it 66 to 44, Mansfield on top. Well, I tell you, Boxers got one more quarter to get it together, and they're gonna have to get it together really fast. They're gonna have to start this fourth quarter on a little run get some momentum, get the crowd into it, and um, shut down this um, tough Mansfield Hornets offense. Because they really haven't missed a beat there since the start of this basketball game. They've got some great shooters, play great team ball. So fourth quarter about to begin. 22 point game, Brockton has a lot of catch up to play here in the last eight minutes of basketball. Yeah, I'm sure you'll see on defense for Brockton, they're gonna be trapping and collapsing on, on the man with the ball. You'll see the urgency on defense. And Mansfield smartly using clock because the clock right now, even though it started in the fourth quarter, it, the clock is against the boxes. Oh, he's traveling, and they're gonna call jump ball, or oh, excuse me, possession uh, boxes, but it looks like he kinda walked with the ball, maybe because uh, he didn't fully have control of it. But anyway, boxes have it. Good defense there on um, Robinson. Well, just nice ball movement by Mansfield. Using the clock and then capping it off on a man coming down the lane. And that was some calm, cool, collected 
offensive team were courtesy of Mansfield as we have the timeout called. Yeah. That was probably the most they've moved the ball and let the shot clock come close to dwindling down to single digits I've seen all game. Yeah, the, well, actually the last two possessions they've done, the, done that, using that 30-second clock to perfection. And um, in that case right there, they got two points. So 68-44, Mansfield on top. Mansfield liking their chances of moving on to the state semifinals right now. Yeah, looks like they good chance right now to go to the Garden and um, face off with whoever's up there in the north sectionals to see who represents the eastern part of Massachusetts. And Mansfield, they, I mean, they've done a great job. They got two seniors, two juniors, and one freshman starting on that number one seed team. Bodes well for their future, doesn't it? Sure does. Shot there by Biddle. And they're going to get a travel. As uh, number three lost his footing, that was Brendan Foley. Lost his footing underneath the basket. Ola might want, might want to show a little bit more urgency bringing that ball up the court. Again, time is not in their favor. He's going to come out and Diamond Blakely will come in. Scoop shot. And that's travel. a travel on yeah. Mansfield. It looked like he was almost ready to go behind his back with the ball and this is an abnormal amount of travel calls for a game this deep in the playoffs. Nice steal. Well, I don't know how he got that shot off. A nice job by Blakely. 20-point game, 68-48 Mansfield. Full-court press exhibited by Brockton now, and I think you have to. free throw line. Nice job by Biddle to get that offensive uh, rebound and put it back up. They're going to call on Biddle. 
That's his third. And boxers have no choice, Peter, but to get aggressive on defense, and that's what's going to happen. You get a little bit too aggressive, and, and the urgency is there. More than likely, you're going to be called for a foul. And Mansfield with no issue penetrating the defense at all in that particular possession. No, they're doing a great job. A little spin move, wow. Nice move by Blakely. 70 to 51, Mansfield on top. Brockton calls a timeout. So 70 to 53, Mansfield on top. Brockton has the deficit to 17, which hardly enough is the best it's been in I some time. I agree to say that sounds pretty good considering what's yeah. been going on here. Well, Brockton, they just have to keep plugging it away at it, doing the best they can and on defense. And but um, Mansfield is such a good offensive team, it's going to just make it doubly hard for the boxes to uh, stop this Mansfield team from making points. Still got a lot of folks uh, hanging around for this basketball game. Not as animated as they were, but still supportive nevertheless. Yeah. Nice steal. Air ball. A good defensive play right there. On the big man. Terrence Guy, he'll go to the free throw line. I believe that was That's a Isaac bonus Lane. situation too. Yeah. Isaac Lane with the defensive stop. From here on out. Nice move there. The boxes need to make a stop. They can't afford to just trade baskets. And Mansfield calls a timeout. You know, it was really a strong second quarter performance from Mansfield, which is still holding on in this game. Yeah, that second quarter was a big quarter for Mansfield. They kind of set the tone with all those shots made and then Brockton going on a cold spell and just opened it up for the uh, Mansfield Hornets. So 71-55 your score, Mansfield on top. Peter Zimbore, Miles Jackson bringing you the action as we're taking a look at Taunton High School. Home of the Taunton Tigers. And that was, in the first round, that's who Brockton beat was, um, excuse me, second round, I believe. Um, Had to go back to the scene of the crime. Yeah. Okay, I'm trying to remember, maybe Taunton, no, Taunton came to Brockton, and uh, Brockton beat him in that first round, and then Brockton came to Taunton and um, beat BC High in the second round. And now they're back to the scene of the crime, but unfortunately the crime's been committed on them. And it's 71-57 Mansfield on top, excuse me. Ooh. 
Nice defensive stop there. Rock Was that a blocking call on Yep, Mansfield? blocking call, yep. Isaac could have used that, those two points there, but he'll go to the free throw line. This Mansfield team, very well coached. Very patient team, and uh, yeah, it Mike shows. Mike doing a good job. Yep. Getting the job done at the free throw line is the boxers. 71-59, Mansfield on top. Back court. Brockton needs to make two or three here. They're trying to claw back into this basketball game and you can hear the crowd. The crowd feels it. Biddle is foul. So Biddle will try to hit two. You know, Brockton having a strong fourth quarter. They just have so much ground to make up. A lot of ground to make up. That's the problem. So blocking down by 11. Wow. Basket's good, and he is fouled. Seventy-four, sixty, Mansfield. Very respectful fans once they uh, realize they're on television. Wow, tough call there. Tough call on Navon Reed. They're going to say he traveled. I didn't see it, and the crowd didn't see it either. They don't like the call. Can't blame them. Well, just as I compliment Brockner for having a good fourth quarter, Mansfield really starts picking up the pace. They're up by 16, 76 to 60. And things just have not been going Brockner's way in the paint or from the outside tonight. Not at all. Totally different Brockner team than when they played BC High. Doesn't even look like the same team. Just can't hit their shots and I mean, give the um, Mansfield Hornets, I mean, they got some great shooters, but too many times they've been left wide open on the outside and, and not really covered well on the inside. And they've taken every opportunity that's been given to them to make shots. And you can just see by the body language of Navon Reed at the free throw line after missing that shot of dejection. Boxes threw that, I mean, excuse me, Hornets threw that one away. Hey, 
Air ball on good defense. Missed. One of the few three pointers hit for the boxes and timeout. I believe that is the first three pointer they've hit here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you're right. Just in. And Brock is a pretty good three point shooting team, but they just haven't fallen this evening. 76-64, 12-point game, Mansfield on top. And time on their side. Yes. I mean, 12 points isn't a lot, but you said it right there. Time is not on the boxer's side. It's on Mansfield's side. I'd like to thank our crew while we have an opportunity. Athena doing a fine job on camera in unique circumstances with their surroundings. And also the postman, Mike Simmons, with post production for this broadcast. Yeah, definitely team effort here at BCA. Boxers have to make some stops and then come down and score. I mean, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. If they can get the defense to stop, they've got to come back down and score. I believe that was on Navon. You know, Mansfield was doing a great job of just moving the ball and keeping the clock moving there. Great job. Killing the, the clock. Yeah, they know the clock is their friend right now. Hey. Late in this fourth quarter. Yep. Nice job there by Sincere Guild, the junior, to get that offensive rebound on the free throw attempt. Seventy-eight, sixty-four, Mansfield. I have it. In that case, when you're down and you shoot a three-point, you need to go after the rebound because that came right back to Biddle, but he didn't um, go after his um, shot. And Navon Reed gets a hand as he comes out. And you can see the fans are starting to leave. Well, Brockton Nothing to be ashamed of. They had a great year. I, a lot of experts didn't think that Brockton would make it to the South Sectional Finals, even though they were the number two seed. Sometimes because of their inconsistency during the year, they uh, wrote them off as being um, ousted within the first round. But uh, Brockton has surprised all the sports experts and um, got here to the South Sectional, so no shame there.
And as you mentioned, Miles, the fans heading to the exit right now is more or less a concession that the outcome of this game is no longer in question. Yeah, especially when you got this, all the subs in there for the boxes and for uh, Mansfield for the most part. I tell you, Mansfield has a very good uh, bench, too. They never really missed a beat when they their starters came out for a rest. They had some very quality bench players, just like Brockton has, but unfortunately, chips didn't fall this evening for the boxes. And again, congratulations to Coach Bowen and his team for a fine 17-5 uh, and five ending season for the boxes. Is they could not overtake that, that um, second quarter hole that they really dug themselves into. So a commanding victory for the Mansfield Hornets who eliminate the Brockton Boxers from the MIAA postseason in the South Sectional Finals of this game. Miles, your thoughts on this performance tonight for the Brockton Boxers and your performance on their season as a whole as it comes to a conclusion tonight. And with all due respect to the NBA, I'm a much bigger fan of single elimination games. Well, there you have it. 78-65 Mansfield with the win over Brockton.